If it's a haunted trail you're seeking out, the premier stop along the way is the historic St. James Hotel. Just over 50 miles northeast of Taos in the sleepy town of Cimarron, this 19th century building was the brainchild of the westward Frenchman Henry Lambert, a man like many who came for the mining industry but struck gold elsewhere. Lambert bought the property in 1870, at the time a small eatery and parlor. He realized that he had kind of a good thing going. And he went all in, growing out the modest acquisition to a fully functioning hotel over the next several years. He started to add on and eventually by 1880 he had added the second floor and did a grand reopening um, and it became known as St. James Hotel after that. The Victorian-styled hotel became a favorite stop for travelers in the territory. The ledger of guests throughout the years plays like a who's who of Wild West legends and lore. The Earps, Bat Masterson, Jesse James stayed here under his alias of R.H. Howard uh, many times. Annie Oakley and Buffalo Bill, Wild Bill Cody, who met here and started their Wild West show in Cimarron. The hotel was also supposedly a favorite writing retreat for the likes of Zane Gray, and New Mexico governor Lou Wallace, who found immense success in the literary world. He wrote part of Ben-Hur here at the St. James. But the bread and butter of the St. James notorious history is violent and untamed. It definitely is the epitome of Wild West. It's rumored that a common question of Cimarron residents at the time was, who was killed at Lambert's last night? We have bullet holes that date back to the turn of 19th and 20th century, that um, 26 still existing, that um, were part of those Wild West saloon shootout days. With the advent of the railroad, the St. James fell into disrepair for decades, until Cimarron native Ed Sitzberger purchased the hotel in 1985, restoring the property to its glory days. And that's when the St. James became notorious for another reason. I definitely agree that there are some spirits here. I've had doors open and close on me before. I've had ropes that we have um, across the doors of the hotel rooms um, swing for no apparent reason. Front desk manager Thea Maestas says that guests have reported hearing spurred boots walking along the hallways, whistling and disembodied chatter in the bar, and tapping on the window of room 17, a paranormal occurrence believed to be tied to Henry Lambert's late wife, Mary. She surpassed soon after the grand reopening in 1880, so she didn't get to um, kind of partake in this, this lifelong dream that they, they had just completed. While most guests of the St. James Hotel only stay a day or two, one room in particular has a permanent resident. TJ, also known as Thomas James Wright, who was a cowboy miner from a nearby mining town um, called Elizabethtown. As the legend goes, Wright won the deed to the property of the St. James in a high-stakes poker game one evening. As he left the poker room, the angry owner of the hotel shot Wright, mortally wounding him as he crawled back to room 18 a room that now permanently remains closed to the public. Any time that previous owners or management have gone to get his room ready for occupancy um, or renovations of any kind, it's almost as if a series of unfortunate events will start to happen throughout the facility. These days, the hotel prides itself on maintaining its Old West ambiance, colorful stories told by residents and visitors alike, and libations that will soothe the most savage of beasts. We also serve a mean margarita. We do have a special margarita that we call the, the green chili margarita. So if you're in search of mystery and a trip back in time, mount up for northern New Mexico and the St. James Hotel.